Today in our 2018 Ford F-150, you're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to show you how to install the Roadmaster EZ-5 base plate kit with removable arms, part number RM-524431-5. This is what our base plate looks like when it's installed. This is going to give us a solid mounting location on the front of our F-150 so it can be safely flat toe behind our RV. This is going to be a custom fit design. It's going to mount directly to your frame rails. It's going to replace your factory tow hooks. There's not going to be any welding required to get them installed. The reason you want a base plate, it's going to spread the towing force evenly to minimize the weight put on the suspension while your vehicle is being flat towed. The EZ5 base plate is only compatible with Roadmaster tow bars that slide into the hitch. It is not compatible with tow bars that are ball mounted. One thing that's nice about the EZ5 base plate it's going to have removable arms. When you're not flat towing your vehicle, you can remove the arms, store them away until you want to use them next time. You can see here our base plate does not stick out from our bumper too far. It's not an eyesore. It's got a nice clean look. When you're ready to use your base plate, take your removable arm. It's going to have a spring-loaded pin. You're going to slide it in, depress the pin, spin it around until it locks into place. When you're ready to take it off, you simply pull the ring, twist your arm, or twist the removable arm, and slide it out. Here on the outside, you're going to have your safety chain loops. This is going to be for attaching your tow bar safety chain cables. To keep in mind, is you want to make sure when installing, your removable arms are installed on the right side. If you notice this tab here, you want it to be on the top side and on the inside. If you have it wrong, it'll be on the bottom. Again, to install it the correct way, you want it on the side of the vehicle where this tab is on the top and on the inside. Our base plate's going to have a nice black powder coat finish that's going to resist any rust or corrosion. As far as the installation, it's a pretty simple, straightforward installation. However, you will have to remove the bumper. This is going to be one of five main components in a flat tow setup. The other four are going to be your safety cables, your tow bar, your braking system, and your wiring. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let me show you how to get it installed. First thing we need to do to start our installation, you're going to have a cap like this on both sides of your bumper. We need to remove it. Take a trim panel tool, plastic trim panel tool. Uh, you can use a screwdriver if you want. I would be careful doing that. You don't want to scratch. Uh, you don't want to scratch any part of your bumper. These can be a little bit trying to get off. But once you get it started, you can pop them off like this. You want to make sure we take these clips out. And how we do that? It's pretty simple. You grab this bottom little tab there. some needle nose pliers like that, they pop right out. And we'll just take these and stick these right back onto the cover. And you're gonna repeat that same thing on the other side of the vehicle. Next, we're gonna take a 13, 16 socket. You're gonna have two bolts, I'm sorry, two nuts on each side of the vehicle on the inside of the bumper. Keep in mind, some models, if you have an ACC unit uh, that you have to remove. Make sure you follow the instructions on taking that off. Once you have the two on one side done, go ahead and repeat the process on the other side. Our third bolt, our third nut, is going to be on the inside underneath. And this is going to be our third nut. Go ahead and remove that nut. You're going to have the same thing on the other side of the vehicle. And if you have fog lights, you want to make sure you unplug those. This wire right here runs up to the bottom or the back side of our light. There's a tab on it. Right here, you're just going to, if you reach up right above this bracket here, you can just pull out on it and it'll come loose. You need to make sure you do that on both sides. That's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help remove your bumper. All we're gonna do is we're gonna slide it straight out. Now you can see my wiring to my uh, light it has a clip hooking to the bumper. Make sure you don't just pull your bumper off uh, just in case you have some of those wires connected. 
you just pull it off and then just set your bumper aside. Next we're going to remove this cover. It will not be reinstalled. I'm going to make sure you do that on both sides of the vehicle. And we're going to take a 15 millimeter socket. The two bolts that are sticking up here, we need to remove our tow hook. Then we're going to remove our tow hook and we're going to remove this plate on the inside. Now we'll take our half inch by three and a half inch bolt. Go ahead and put your lock washer on it. And you want to make sure that all the hardware that you install, you're adding some red Loctite. You want to grab one of your handle nuts and then your main receiver brace. Your safety cable hookup, this bracket is going to be on the outside of the vehicle. That's how you're going to know which side's the correct side. So we're going to slide it up behind like this. We're going to take our bolt and it's going to go through this forward most hole in our bracket or our receiver brace here. And we're going to thread it right into our handle nut. Now we're just going to hand tighten it at this time. We're going to take our half inch by inch and a half bolt. Again, make sure you have Loctite on it. Go ahead and add your lock washer. We're going to go up through the rear hole in our base plate and then again we'll take another uh, handle nut and thread that into place. Again we're just hand tightening these at this time. Next you're going to need a half inch drill bit and a smaller drill bit. We're going to use the existing hole in the side of our bracket here or side of our base plate to drill a hole through our frame rail. Uh, I'm gonna start out with a half inch, that way it's centered in here, and then I'll switch to uh, the smaller bit uh, to drill a pilot hole first. Next I'm gonna take some clear coat, uh, black paint, any kind of paint to cover up that bare metal to resist any rust or corrosion later on down the road. I will take a half inch by inch and a half bolt, again lock washer, and you're going to have a backing plate like this, or a spacer. We're going to put this in between this bracket and our frame rail. So we'll slide it up like that, we'll slide our bolt through, and then we're going to take another one of our handle nuts and attach it here on the inside. We'll just hand tighten it at this time, just like that. And you're going to repeat the same process on the other side of the vehicle. Next we'll take a 19 millimeter socket and we're going to torque our hardware to the specifications and the instructions. You're going to repeat that for all remaining hardware. Next we're going to remove the handles off of our nuts. Uh, some of them you can just kind of move them back and forth and they'll come off. If not, a pair of 10 snips works. Now that we have our base plate installed, it's a good idea before you put your bumper back in place to add any additional components or wiring that you may need, like your braking system, uh, your diode kit, or even a charge line. That'll do it for a look at an installation on the Roadmaster EZ5 base plate kit with removable arms, part number RM 524431 5 on our 2018 Ford F 150.